Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Just a reminder of where we are. Uh, we've got the Tiamat uh, on its way down here to the mine, hopefully, um, to start us mining some of that Orchalium, uh, which I'm sure I am mispronouncing. We have our B team on their way to take out that uh, nest. Uh, we've got the A team on their way to get the Pro Protean Mutane field. Uh, at which point the Helios will, uh, in fact, probably bring the Helios down and uh, get that in the right place in preparation. Uh, yeah, yeah, that seems like a good plan. I wanted to have a very quick look at our research. Uh, we've got the Fireworm going next, and after that, being able to make Iconoclasts would be very handy. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna blitz through a lot of these. In fact, let's do the hatching sentinels up first because I want. If we can do that before we go into the the nest, it'll be better for us. Uh, then these, they're fine. Spider pistol probably not that useful, but we can move the siren autopsy up. Ah, oh, that that'll do for for the moment. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, manufacturing, we're in a good place for general resources. I th think what we'd like to do is we'd like to hire someone else. Maybe you. So actually, let's send the team across. Uh, do we, no, we don't want more materials. Let's, uh, let's just see how much you're going to cost. You're going to cost 102, but... You are going to be our first infiltrator, so come on board and you can immediately join the team. So, Johnny Canoe Head Carnage. Get a med kit. Get a grenade. And. Yeah, surprise attack is really what I was looking for. Ooh, wow. Close quarter specialist. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cross class you with assault, give you a shotgun, make you as accurate as we can with it. And we'll try and turn you into like a super infiltrator. That's gonna that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, for the moment, we'll we'll leave you as you are. Research. There's the research in the hatching sentinels. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, uh, Haven Camp uh, La Luciba is under attack by the pure. A team, let's get you up here and we'll try and stop this because I want Sinedrian to be a little bit more on side so we can actually learn about, uh... <coughs> hmm, excuse me, so we can learn about the uh, Sinedrian tech. So the Arthur and Umbra, Karan, Aplu, Pandor and Citadel, Acid Tech and Xenagos. Okay, he looks pretty similar to other ones we've seen. Hmm. Poison worms. Pandora and Citadel. Yeah, that's going to be kind of terrifying. And acid techs. And oh, wow, this thing. Silent Alpha 1. Spawns Mist. Instill Frenzy. Spawn Mind Fraggers. And Leaps. Okay, Leap is something that I've never seen a Sala do. Okay, let's hope we don't uh, don't encounter any of those. Okay, B team, in you go. This is going to be an opportunity to get some experience. I have complete faith in you and also the newest member of B team.
these missions are pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't go badly. Okay, we can already see one of the hatching sentinels. This is a brilliant start. <clears throat> The aim is not amazing from here. Receiving. Loud but we've got more than enough firepower from everything else to be able to take it out. <coughs> Don't worry, it's not COVID, it's just a cough. It's that time of year when everything gets a little bit icky. That is a very solid start. That 15% extra damage really makes all the difference. Okay, uh, well, seeing as the infiltrator is currently hidden, let's uh, move them up. No, they're not hidden anymore. Okay, we've got one egg we need to take out. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, it's just, you know, worth bearing in mind. Target down. Uh, actually, I'm going to send you over this direction. Moving to position. We've got another sort of area over over this way. Potentially something there. Moving now. Gotta be quick. Step on in. We'll get as much reinforcement down Sprinting to position. this line as we can. And yeah, I'll I'm going. send you in with the main team. Advancing. I don't want to get too far ahead of the rest. Advancing. Let's just tuck it on the side here. Something miles away in the distance. That guy's a bit closer. Quite More a bit dying. closer, actually. Uh, we could potentially stun him. I don't think we would get to capture him, but nice. it's probably worth us trying. So he's paralyzed. Channel open. Moving now. Heading out. Maybe down this way then. Moving to position. Okay, we spotted an egg, but moving now. Not much else. Uh, you're basically out. Come up and stab next to this guy. All set. Mm, do we want to take one of? Yeah. Here we go. Extra experience. Smack it. Uh, this one being alerted, we should probably take it out as well, just as a matter of course. Because we don't want to be surprised. 
Scout confirmed. Uh, you can play catch up. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> Zero damage. This is why having lots of armor is very cool. Okay. So you're going to carry on stunning this guy. Just to make sure he doesn't unstun. And we could try and shoot him in the arm or maybe the other arm. That works. He didn't exactly run anywhere safe, did he? Right, I don't think we can actually get eyes on this guy. Oh, we can't... Can't really get close enough to wallop him one either. We can, we can step in and we can tase him a little. Which would be fun. Yeah, let's let's do that. It's a little bit foolish rushing in like this. Hey, cool, we can see the other hatching sentinel, so we know where it is now. Not going to be able to get close enough to do what I'd like. Go to here. We'll get the um, the others to run round. So I need you to dash. I need you to dash. Oh, you're not quite going to make it, are you? And that's an iconoclast that he's got. That's annoying. It will injure him a little bit. Disabled his arm and his head. Okay, that's uh, that's reasonable. Yeah, we're just not really going to have the the position. Pushing on. Almost certainly shouldn't have uh, dashed in like that. Now nah, you know what. We'll uh, we'll be fine. Just move on up. Moving out. So over this side. Yeah, let's uh, let's wallop this guy. Bash you. <laughs> Actually, we might be able to kind of like sneak and snipe down. That no, not really. Not with any sense of reliability. So instead, let's uh, let's start moving across. Hey, you can actually uh, loot him. All right. Oh, grab that. That oh, was another neural pistol. So obviously, little bit of trouble over here. Ugh. Youch, that's not a surprise.
Five by five. So a tiny bit of a misjudgment. Advancing. Still, this guy is going to get paralysed. Pretty certain we're not going to get to keep him at the end, but just in case. And uh, the rest of the team is going to get in a position to take this out. Can you see from here? No, but you can see from there. You can see from there. You can see from all along here. That's fine. Pushing on. Now that thing, of course, is preparing. That's not going to be a problem. Do we want anyone else to try and kill anything else? No, I think let's uh, let's just try and finish it. If this isn't the end, then obviously we'll have to reassess. But if it is the end, then we're golden. Look at that. Johnny Canoe Head Carnage gets a little bit of experience. Hey, and everyone likes us a little bit more. Oh, we did get to keep them. Oh, well, that was totally worth us doing. Right, let's put the Arthur and section in there. Um, maybe I should have let a mine fragger hatch. That would have been a nice controlled way of doing it. Okay, I would love to be able to take that vehicle that's been abandoned. Uh, B team, we are going to have you exploring in the meantime. Over here, uh, we do have some training to do. So yeah, we, we definitely want to give you onslaught. And yeah, I'm always up for a little bit of extra stealthiness. I'll give you one more speed to compensate for that. Yeah, we'll carry you guys on exploring. Uh, so things that we've uh, we've got to do. Uh, we've got the time vault, which is miles away. Uh, we've got the scorpion, which is not too far away, but that's uh, obviously uh, for the sniper rifle for the um, for the new content. We've got the bionic fortress, which we can't reach yet. So carrying on exploring with the B team is going to be the best thing. How is the A team doing? Are they going to get there in time? They might. Right, fireworm autopsy is done. That's good. Ooh. Uh, no, no, because this is this is just the tank. They're going to sit there and they're going to wait while the A team is uh, busy doing their thing. Heads up, ahead, ahead, exploration site. Our operatives have discovered a large screaming head which appears to have grown on top of an old warehouse. The head is only vaguely human and in some ways resembles a very large pumpkin. Its eyes bulge and drip with a viscous pus-like fluid. Stalks resembling antenna grow from its balding pate. It appears to be screaming the same word over and over. Something like Uglog or Nucot in a variety of intonations. Um. Yeah, let's destroy the head and search the warehouse. Destroying the head proves more difficult than anticipated. Its thick skin is almost impervious to gunfire, and it takes a strong explosive shoved down its mouth to do the trick. Everyone is relieved, but also disgusted as pieces of head pumpkin raid down on the Thunderbird 2. The warehouse has not been looted and contains some useful resources. So, disciples of Anu like us for that for some reason. I think that that mission was wrong and I think I think we should have got resources for that. I think it gave us the wrong uh, the wrong result. Oh well, not really much we can do about that. Let's um let's move up to this site. A 
a Sydney Dream Haven. Nice. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at the base info here. How much will it cost us to repair the... Yes, this is definitely worth us getting it repaired. And... That's going to cost us a lot of tech to do. Let's not do that. We just can't afford it at the moment. Hey! The A-Team has made it. So, this... Oh, jeez, they just made it. Wow, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, do we want to trade first? No, we don't. <laughs> I see. All right, let's, uh, let's deploy and uh, see how this goes. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone has all their stuff back on because... You know, we uh, cycled people's stuff out for the last... Um... Can we give you some more strength? Yes. Uh, we, we cycled out all their um, equipment for the last scavenging mission. So on to three Kodiak. Let's uh, give you a little bit more. Actually, yeah, let's let's just make Kodiak awesome. There we go. Uh, we didn't need to give you a grenade. We just gave you extra ammo. That's fine. We probably don't need to give you extra sniper ammo, though. You're not going to shoot eight shots off and all your grenades. Uh, Mario. Ammo and stuff. Fully loaded. See, you've got a lot of points. That's going to cost 30. That's going to cost 30. So that's, that's 60 between them. There we go, that's that's a bit better. You're going to get 10 for this mission anyway. Uh, let's give you one more speed. I'm sure it'll be fine. And over here, you don't need an extra one of those because you've already got one. Sometimes I think I am going a little bit crazy. You're good, you're good, you're good. You don't need all that ammo, but it's fine. All right, I think we're, I think we're ready to actually go in. Fighting the pure. <laughs> yeah, acid definitely looks like it's a, a very viable damage over time. Um, the downside is it's damage over time rather than just instantly killing things, which means they've probably got a chance to shoot back. If you can apply it at, like, really long range distance, it's great. And for, for the enemies going up against your guys, it's, it's definitely a concern. But in, in games like this, you almost always want to make sure that the other thing just dies straight out. Cool, so we've got eyes on over there. That is not really a shot that's going to work. Getting an extra 50% range on that is not going to help either. Okay, let's, let's start moving people forwards and uh, taking up some kind of assault slash defensive position. Uh, it's 
probably not terrible actually. It's a little bit of damage on the armor. Better than nothing. Uh, Mario, I think I just want to move you up close, actually. Let's let's put you over here. That feels a bit more sensible. Ding, 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 ding. Now we need snipers in good vantage points. Preferably with good cover. Let's go to there. Identifying target. Ooh, that is not a terrible shot. All right, let's uh, let's try dinging at the assault from here. Hit him. Do that again, my friend. Come on, Shepard, bring it home. Ah, kill this gun. Five by five. I'm I'm happy enough with you killing his gun. Last but not least. Yeah, it's not even. Not even worth you taking that shot. The sniper rifle is nice to have, but realistically, you're not going to be shooting at that kind of range. So without a gun, he's just bugging out. No, he went into demolition mode. Someone's got a fancy shield. He's actually gone in a really awkward position. Now this is actually quite good in a way. Oh god, his position is terrible. I was going to say it's good in a way because we get to see what that shield is like of his, but... Yeah, it's got 200 health on it. What's he got? It's got a repair kit. Yeah, he's uh, he's also got one of those turrets. So we're not going to get really close enough to do the kind of things that we'd like to do. Let's see now. With Boom Blast, we could get grenades over on him. Well, we can kind of move forwards and get in a better position for next turn. Let's do that. That's actually Sprinting. a pretty good place have a sniper. You know who else can uh, can do a shield? Kodiak can. That is not cover. Yeah, really what I'd like is I'd like to get the the flanking on. And then I can figure out where I want to... In fact, get behind the tree. These things, they're not going to protect you at all. But the tree, the tree might actually do something useful. Uh, you are not any use where you are. So just move straight up. Five by five. I wonder if it's just this last guy. Double time. Mm. Yeah. It's not great cover, but it is some cover. So 
but he's coming a bit closer and putting a turret down. Yeah, that, that shield is going to be pretty awesome. I think we can we can probably hit him and uh, do everything we need to. How about from here? That'd be good enough. Right, let's mark him for death. It's not on Overwatch, so. Let's try some shot fun from like here. The head would be the best place for us to shoot him, but that's not really going to happen, so let's go for the arm. There goes his shield. And most of his health, of course. But the shield being gone is the big thing. Because that means... Quick aim! Hostile down. It was just the two of them. Please tell me we get to keep that turret. So th this is something that I think the um, the game struggles with a lot. The attacking force was rated quite highly there, and those two were not particularly a big threat. So how how does that work out? Yeah, it doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, we need to move the. 18 back down to the protein mutane field. You guys are exploring over here. You've just arrived, so uh, I guess you're now mining. Yeah, look, look. That's how it works. All right. There's the siren autopsy. So new research is available, which is the siren vivisection. Now, in terms of our particular research, we do have to do the siren for section. Uh, so I'm going to move it up the queue. And then I think the... Well, most of these we can just go through in order, can't we? Yeah. Right of giving. Narika. Our operatives are welcomed to Narika with open arms. Today is the day of the right of giving, when the disciples of Anu share food with friends and allies. After the appropriate rituals have been formed, fungi are gathered from the field of transubstantiation and processed so they may be donated to our cause. Um, yeah, I'll always take extra things. 320 food. Wow. These fungi may be an unusual source of nutrition, but these are desperate times and humanity needs to adapt. No, it's humanity needs to not look a gift Anu horse in the mouth, eh? Uh, we could trade food for materials. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go to our brand new guy and have a look at the augmentations for him. Because we want to improve his stealth, really. And in his actual equipment, that's stealth plus 20, that's stealth plus 10, that's stealth plus 20. So he's actually already as good as these. But 
so we don't need the Vengeance Tool. So we're going to be getting melee weapon proficiency, but we're not going to be using melee weapons. Not activating Overwatch could be useful, but I think the Silent Echo head is the best option. So let's give you that. And I don't think we want to give you any other augments from here. We might do some, some mutations if we learn how to later. But yeah, that, that'll be fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's move you guys down here. Sinedrian is constructing mist repellers. They are really doing quite well, aren't they? I'm guessing that's it there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's have a look and see. You're on your way back. You're sat there. You're mining for us. Fungus humongous. Exploration site. Our operatives have encountered a new, Der uh, new Jericho scientific expedition. The expedition has discovered a unique mutation of Pelibulus crystallinus in an abandoned commune's composting facility. The individual fungi are almost 20 times as large as the unmutated variety. When expelling spores, they do so with enough force to penetrate armor. The expedition has begun preparations for burning the facility. We're going to help them burn the facility. The world doesn't need more dangerous mutations. The facility goes up in flames. Did you know that a lifetime ago, I was part of the Phoenix Project? When the mist came, I waited and waited to be activated, but the call never came. I thought I'd been abandoned. I didn't understand how bad things were at Phoenix Point, but without Tobias, I would have died. People think he's some kind of dictator, and I understand why. He has a vision and the means to realize it. We're not used to that kind of power, but power is exactly what we need in order to win this war. Okay. Speaking entirely for myself, an alliance between the Phoenix Project and New Jericho would bring together everything I've ever believed in. Please think about it. Sure thing, Sophia. New Jericho is the way forwards. Then I'm sure you will accept this little contribution oh, hell yes. from a former operative. All right, so so the others like us a little bit less. Sinedrine is friendly 7%, which is not bad. Um, we could sabotage an Anu place to get them a little bit nicer. But I think for the for the moment, that's that's pretty good. We've run out of places to explore down here. So I think we're going to have to move up to some of these other ones for now. In fact, you know what? I can now afford to get a scanner here. Satellite uplink would be much needed and very useful. Uh, B team, you're going to carry on. Uh, let's, yeah, come up to this one. See that, Miss Propeller? Right. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to do this, but uh, we will be picking up next time with the A team at the ancient antediluvian ruin site. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. It's been a little bit bitty. We've uh, we've done a bunch of different things, but uh, you know, it's it's all in the name of saving humanity. If you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon. <laughs>